as the latest Silly Symphony that I've watched, I have to say Music Land was pretty good fun. This was actually released in 1935, directed by Wilfred Jackson, written by Pinto Kolvig. Now, I, Pinto Kolvig, if you don't know, is the, the voice of Goofy, the original voice of Goofy. I'm not sure if I've ever seen anything that Kolvig's written. So that is an interesting angle for me. This, like the rest of the Silly Symphonies, is a fun animated short film with a fantastic soundtrack. The music is by Lee Harline. And our characters here are all musical instruments. And we have a bit of a star-crossed lovers narrative here. Um, I won't say it's like Romeo and Juliet because it's certainly not that tragic. But we have two opposing islands, if you like. We have Land of Symphony, which is very classical. And then we have, across the Sea of Discord, we have the Isle of Jazz, which is a very jazz-themed island. And as the narrative progresses, we realise that this, the princess of Land of Symphony, who, <laughs> I will be honest, her illustration, her animation design is very odd because the rest of the characters, or pretty much the rest of the characters, are just musical instruments with eyes and mouths. For example, the prince of the Isle of Jazz, who is important, um, he is a saxophone with eyes. He very much looks like, you know, an, an, an instrument. But the princess has the body of a violin, but the arms, legs and head of a human. And I find it unnerving, but I love it. She meets this prince, this saxophone, this alto sax, and they obviously begin flirting, begin courting. It looks like they're going to have a lovely life together, but the parents don't necessarily agree with this match that they think is not made in heaven. And as the narrative progresses, we wonder what's going to happen to their, to their relationship and you know whether or not they'll get married and have a lovely life together, or if their opposing families are not necessarily um, going to be in favour of that. I won't say how it concludes, but I will say I loved it. It's just adorable. The music, is, as I said, is brilliant. We have a lot of recognisable numbers in this here. We have some of uh, Wagner's music. The animation style is beautiful. One of my favourites is the tree that looks like it's made from the body of a cello or a double bass. I love that. Just so much attention to detail. It's absolutely fantastic. There are so many little puns and things in this as well that I'd yeah, I feel like needing to give it another watch to pick up on everything. It's brilliant. Music Land may not be my all-time favourite Silly Symphony, but it is absolutely fabulous. <laughs>